Hey guys, so Christmas is literally right around the corner and I feel like there's a fuzz on my mouth. But I filmed this video and I really wanted to put it up anyway. I didn't even say the title of this video, but you probably already read the title. Like gifts, Christmas, whatever, I haven't actually come up with the title yet. So I just basically wanted to show you guys some of my favorite gifts. That means let's get the video started. Like, let's go. Okay, let's go. The Christmas tree. So instead of just giving a photo in a frame, I wanted to show you one of my favorite ways to give the gift of a photo without it being too generic by just being in a boring frame. So for this, you're going to need just a shadow box or a more hollowed picture frame, and you can find this literally anywhere, Marshalls, Walmart. So you want to start out by taking your super glue or any kind of glue that you prefer, and I'm going to adhere some wrapping paper to the back of the picture frame. Taking your scissors, you want to cut around the edges so that the frame matches up with the wrapping paper, and it's not going to look really cute because this is just our base. And now I'm going to take some tape, and I'm going to adhere it to the first layer of wrapping paper and then put the second layer on just so it's very opaque and you can't see through it. So now I'm going to, again, cut it out so that it matches up. So now you're going to take your string and you want to measure it from the one side of the frame to another, and then you want to glue it on or however you want to adhere it. Super simple and easy. And then I'm going to grab these dollar pins that I found at Target, literally $1, and I'm going to go ahead and clip them on to my photos. So if you want to get a bigger shadow box, you can totally do way more photos. I just picked these two. And this is a great way to make a personal gift extra personal because you can customize the background and the photos. I love it. Now, who doesn't love chocolate for Christmas? Uh, I do, especially organic superfood chocolate. I think these kit boxes are such a cute Christmas idea. I would personally love this one by Aloha. It's their chocolate lovers kit because I love chocolate, but I also love to be healthy. This kit comes with two dark chocolate snack bars with nutritious and delicious organic plant-based ingredients, which will keep you satisfied and satisfy your sweet tooth. It also comes with two packets of the Daily Good Greens chocolate. That's right, you're gonna get a full serving of fruits and veggies, but it's gonna taste like chocolate. And finally, it's gonna come with a hand-selected fair trade Peruvian cacao superfood chocolate bar. Who doesn't want that? I think this kit is perfect for Christmas because it's almost like giving them more than one thing or you can go to Aloha's website and just try out the free trial. Either way, it's a win-win. Next, we're going to be making these bath salt ornaments. I think these are such a cute, super cheap gift idea. Start out by pouring your Epsom salt into a little bowl. The salt to coloring ratio is not going to stain your skin, and since you can eat this stuff, it's totally okay. And then we're going to put a few drops of lavender. I think this is perfect for the bath. And then I also went ahead and stirred that up, but I also added some sweet orange to a different one, so you can totally customize these as well. You can also just choose to not add food coloring at all, and then just pour them into hollow ornaments that I got for under a dollar at Walmart. Don't hang it on your tree because it's going to be heavy, but that is your gift idea. Moving on to my favorite gift idea since I was like five years old. This is your DIY cocoa kit. This is perfect because you can customize the mug and the kind of cocoa that you want. You could do peppermint. I'm just going to do traditional. So you're going to start out by adding some cocoa into a little bag. And these are just super inexpensive party bags that you can find anywhere. And then I took some coconut sugar, added in there as well. I found these edible snowflakes at Walmart, and I think those are adorable to put in there as well with some mini marshmallows and then you just want to measure your string cut it out and tie it on to the top of your bag and you want to make sure that you put the bag into the cup first so that it kind of all holds shape because if you try to do it without the mug it's not going to really work so that's what it ends up looking like so inexpensive adorable you can make a ton of these and select the different kind of mugs that you want this is one of my favorite gifts and I've been giving this for years it's the best time of the year Last but not least, I know that every year you give cookies to someone, but we're going to spice them up so it doesn't just look like you bought store-bought cookies and then put them in a tin. We're still going to put them in a tin, but we're going to make them look a little bit cuter and a little bit more personal. So start out with your cookie mix. I'm going to be using some gluten-free snickerdoodle. I love snickerdoodle cookies. Then right in the center of each cookie, you're going to place a Rolo, and on the side, I kind of made it look like holly. But it's just these Christmas sprinkles that I found in the baking section. I think these cookies turned out so cute. They're delicious and festive, and they're a perfect last-minute gift idea for somebody in your life who loves sweets. So these are super easy to throw in an inexpensive tin and give as a delicious gift. 
I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and that you're excited for Christmas like I am. Let me know if you're going to try out any of these gifts in the comments below or head over to Aloha's website and check out their chocolate lovers kit. You can even get a free trial so the link will be in the description. If you are new to my channel and you're not already subscribed or if you're just not already subscribed, you can click this button right here to be subscribed to my channel. It's totally free and the subscription just means that you're going to get notifications when I put out a new video. I would love it if you would subscribe. All right, I'm going to go. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.